In this video, we are going to learn about decoders. A decoder is a combinational circuit which takes n input lines and produces 2 power n output lines. Basically, the decoder comes in the part of transmission of data. When the sender or transmitter encodes the transmitting data and transmits, the receiver need to decode that particular received information. So, in such cases, the decoder will be helping us. If unused or don't care combinations are existing, then there is a chance for the decoder to have outputs less than 2 power n. When we are considering n input lines, there will be 2 power n combinations at the max. And when you are having some unused states, then obviously we will be having less than 2 power n output states. The output of the decoder is in the form of min terms and here we will see an example of 2 to 4 line decoder. 2 to 4 line decoder indicates that we will be having 2 input lines and 4 output lines and here we will say that 2 power 0, 2 power 1 and x, y are represented as inputs and 0, 1, 2, 3 are output lines. So, 0th line we are representing as D0, first line D1, then D2 and then D3. The operation of the decoder is in such a fashion that only one of the output line will be one at a time. So, when we say that X and Y are 0, 0, then we say that the output which is connected to 0th line will be 1. So, hence here D0 will become 1 and the rest of the D1 D2, D3 will be 0. Now, if I say like XY is equal to 0, 1, then D1 will become 1, D0, D2, D3 will be 0. XY is 1, 0, then D2 is 1 and rest of the outputs is 0. And both are 1, 1, XY are 1, 1, then D3 is 1, whereas D0, D1, D2 becomes 0. Here shows the truth table for the same. You can see that only one of the outputs is one at a time and hence like from the truth table now we can see how to give the expressions for outputs actually. So, this also follows the design procedure of a combinational circuit. So, first we are getting the truth table from the problem statement and then we are getting the expressions and then we will get the logic diagram. So, D3 is 1 when both X and Y are 1, 1. So, D3 is XY. If, if you see D2 is 1 in case like where X is 1 and Y is 0, so D2 is XY bar. D1 is 1 when X is 0 and Y is 1, so we can represent D1 as X bar Y and similarly D0 is 1 when both X and Y are 0, so we will represent D0 as X bar Y bar. Now, we, we can draw the logic diagram using these four expressions of D0, D1, D2 and D3 and we get the logic diagram like this. If you see in this, you are having the outputs in the uh, using AND gates actually. Now, the same thing we can even implement using NAND gates and which we say as a NAND gate decoder. In such a case, only one of the output will become zero. Let us see that now. NAND gate decoders. So, this is a AND gate decoder where which shows only one of the output is 1 at a time and we represent the block diagram of a 2 cross 4 decoder like this and this is NAND gate decoder truth table and uh, the block diagram shows like this. If you see here only one of the output is 0 at a time. You can differentiate these two block diagrams if you see outputs are represented using bubble actually. This bubble indicates that it is NAND gate decoder actually. So, here uh, you can say like in the case of uh, AND gate decoders, outputs are min terms and if you are considering NAND gate decoders, it will become max terms actually. So, if you consider Y3 is 0 only when both I0 and I1 are 1, 1. So, we will represent it as I1 bar plus I0 bar or 
you can use uh, as we say as a nand gate decoder we can represent it as nand gate expression also we all know that i1 bar plus i0 bar can be represented as i1 i0 whole bar similarly y2 will be represented as i i1 i0 bar whole bar y1 as i1 bar i0 whole bar and y y0 as i1 bar i0 bar whole bar using these expressions if we draw the logic diagram it will be shown like this the difference between the previous one and this one is these is and gates in the and gate decoder and these are the nand gates in the nand gate decoder so if we are using and gate decoder the outputs are min terms and if we are using nand gate decoder the outputs are max terms if we are including the enable input to the decoder so here enable input is included so the truth table goes like this e, e is equal to 0 indicates that the decoder is disabled completely that is we cannot work with it output all are will be zero so irrespective of the inputs whatever we give if e is equal to zero then d3 d2 d1 d0 all outputs will be zero in order to make the decoder function e should be one this e value to be zero as disable and e value to be one enable depends upon the design of the circuit if i put bubble here then e is equal to 1 will disable and e equal to 0 will enable the circuit there are different fashions in uh, designing the circuit with enable input in this case we are considering e as 0 to disable and e as 1 to enable the circuit so including e n expressions and the logic diagram